loving my Kirby Centria 2 that Mr. Parbaz gave me. And it works really, really well, except there is, I think, a slight issue with the tech drive. Let me demonstrate what that issue is, and hopefully, in this video, we'll fix it. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner and Kirby enthusiast chums, how are you today? Yes, this is my Centria 2 and it's very nice, I actually use it quite often, but it's making a noise from I think the tech drive. I'm going to use it now, listen when I change the direction of the stroke, so going forward to back, you'll hear it. <laughs> gorgeous track marks but yeah it's making noise what i'm hoping it is is this the belt for the tech drive that connects the motor to the tech drive it is slipping let's get the part and have a look so here we are on the floor and i've taken off the bag and the handle as so in fact we also need to take off the cleaner head as well. Crikey, this all needs a good polish. Next, we should take off the two screws holding the cable clamp onto the side of the machine. And that just lets the cable flop about like so. Around the back, we take off this bottom screw which isn't very long, Ooh, as I've just demonstrated by dropping it. And then, with a little bit of prying, oh, I had it then. This cover piece lifts off like so. This starts to reveal the handle, but we have a little way to go yet because we can now see two more screws under the back. So we'll have those out. Then around the front, these two under here. And then we can lift off the entire top cover of the machine. Now I not I don't not I don't think that it's the slider. For the handle. I have had that apart and it seems to be fine as in I've messed it up and can tell that it's not right and it feels right now. This is our belt look and it is really very very loose indeed. In fact it just brushes off with no touch at all so I think it is that. So what we need to do now is take the switch off this little bar here is for the switch, but we can forget about that for now. Then we cannot do anything with the belt until we've taken out the tech drive unit. We haven't got to take it fully out, just remove it. So undo this screw. Do not take out that screw, because that's for this, the cam lock. Again, I don't think it's the cam lock as well. I had a Kirby G5 with a chewed up cam lock, and it was a fairly different noise and experience. Ugh. Then we can sort of push down on the whole thing just enough to pop our belt off. There we go and 
we can hope to goodness that it's a lot smaller than this one. And it is actually the same size, although this one looks a lot more worn. The teeth on the new one are more pronounced. And I have watched it slip off of the motor cog. So if it's not this, it could be something else. But this is certainly plan A. Oh, I've had the tech driver part as well. And it's very good in there. So we'll put this on. As a, it's still quite slippy. But I guess we won't know until everything is back in properly. So I'm going to button it all back up and well, we'll hope that worked. Something I've just noticed, this came out of a Qualtex for your home bag. And obviously Qualtex do make OEM parts. And it's upside down. But look, there's the Kirby logo. Oh, can I make it move? Look, there's the Kirby logo on our pattern belt. That's good to see. Made in USA as well. <sighs> anyway, while we're here, I'll show you how we put the switch on. There's a little hole there, and that goes over that peg and then those bits just snap in and that is our switch right let me carry on get this back together and I'll join you back on the carpet and we'll see if there is any change I mean it all back together does it work again well let's have a look <laughs> is notorious for this when you push against the pile it jams up the cleaners hang on we get a slightly softer pile carpet i think we'll be okay <laughs> of its evils this rug was not helping but the old belt was certainly very loose before so there we go if you have a kirby hasn't got to be a century or two i think they're all the same tech drive wise since the g series really so if you've got a grunchy change of direction i would have a look at your belt marvelous so this thing is now not making weird noises i can carry on using it and thinking of things to do with it, building up to strip it apart and send it to be polished, but not today. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I, Andy Kirby, will see you soon. Bye bye.